Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for all my new subscribers for tuning in. So I wanted to share and do a little short video about some of the new planner goodies that I received. Um, I've been receiving a lot of happy mail. So I actually just received this like 15 minutes ago. It's almost eight o'clock at night, but you know what? DHL never fails. Like I love DHL, okay? So um, this is, I, I um, showed a lot of patience by even waiting to open this. Oh, okay, it's supposed to turn over like this. This is from a company called Milo. I wanna say Milo. Um, a lot of you might have heard um, about them. They make some amazing leather planner pouch. Well, they don't have to be planner pouches, but pouches in general. And I went ahead and made an order and I wanted to share it with you guys today. This is cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. It took about, I wanna say five days between ordering and receiving this today. So it's not too bad. Like I said, DHL, anytime I see that I'm getting something from them, I'm like, yeah, it's coming quick. Even if they give you an estimated time, it's always before that. I'm gonna just rip this open. I ordered three pouches. So I ordered, oh, sorry, once again. I ordered the Astia case in a baby pink leather. I ordered a cube case in the floral canvas with black leather trimming. And then I ordered an Aronde case in the light brown soft Napa leather. So let's get into it. So this is the first one. This is the light brown soft Napa. And so far, I like what I see. Um, they had like so many different colors, um, shades of leather to choose from. And I guess I went with the one that's, you can say undyed. Yes, this is nice. It has a tassel here. Can I cut this off to release the tassel? Gotta be careful, I don't wanna rip the leather or cut it. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And of course they have this signature floral inside. I love it. My intentions actually when I purchased these pouches was to go in my purse. <laughs> I just purchased like a Neverfull. So I wanted to be organized and just cute. And I thought this would be nice. And I love this. It's very soft. I've got some red thread down here. And that's probably from the other, you know, pouches. It's really deep. Let me see if some Tombows could fit in there. Tombows can lay in it comfortably. That's Let's go crazy. Let's put all of them in. <laughs> yeah. If I wanted to use it for markers, I could. Yeah, I love it. And I, I just, this is what drew me to this um, company. I love that floral look right there. It is so nice. So yes, that's my first pouch. Mmm, leathery smell, love it. It smells like this leather jacket store I used to uh, pass by in the mall. And of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't get something pink, right? Oh, actually, this has the uh, sticker here. This would be the Astia case in baby pink leather. Okay. Very cute. Ooh, look at that floral inside there. Yes, look at that. How gorgeous is that? This will look so good in my bag. I love it. It's not as like 
the material is, is kind of different um, between these two. I guess this, it did say soft Nappa. I like this material. I'm gonna make another order um, in another color with this soft Nappa. I love that. This is awesome too. Let me see if some Tombos can lay in there comfortably. Yes, it can. I could even throw in a, let's see, an A6. Let's see. So this is this looks this is bigger than this takes in a lot more than it looks like it could, you know? This is amazing. I love it. Love that. It can be used as a makeup bag, stationery. The choice is yours. And finally, I purchased the cube case. This come in leather as well. I really wanted the leather one, but it's spring. I can always order that later down. You know, the seasons really affect my decisions. <laughs> um, I thought this was more of a vibe, especially if it's gonna be my bag, on vacation. I like that kind of uh, look right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out so we can see the shape. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Cute bag. I love it. Got the leather trim here. This part is canvas with the floral. And this bag is really deep. And I know it can hold a whole lot. This can be like my makeup bag. Yeah. So I'm pretty much happy with what I received here. Um, I'm gonna make another order, that's for sure. And I'm gonna get the leather goodness that I like uh, for, you know, later times. But for the spring, I think this is appropriate. So yes, this is my purchase. And I absolutely love it. Again, this is from Milo. I think this actually came from Greece. I think their uh, business, their company is in Greece. So if that is the case, if I am correct, this was quick. I'm loving the shipping, loving it. So let me clear this off here. Yes. So that's my haul for bags. Now stationery, I made a big um, cloth and paper. Uh, order the other day not counting my subscription box and they sent me this as a freebie along with um these and another packet but those were you know free it came with some planner cards and stuff so now I actually have two of these I have one that's open already so I can show you how the inside looks this came in a sub box this came free with the order of about 70 bucks or more I don't know what to do with this. I might have to sell this if somebody's interested. Um, this is how you open it. It's like a folder. If you worked in the office or something, or you had an interview, you pop this out with your resume in it. That would be a good look. <laughs> but I am not doing that. It's, it's pretty good. So at Cloak and Paper, I decided to order some pens and a few sticky notes and things like that. I got this Pilot Juice Pen. Um, it's in a brown ink. It's okay. This one is the Sarasa Zebra Clip Pen in a .5. This has white ink. But these two are my favorite. I love this Sarasa Dry. This is a Sarasa Dry Drift Grip in a .5 and this pen, oh man, it's so comfortable in your hands and it writes well. Like, I love it, it dries quickly. I guess that's where Sarasa Dry comes in. It dries really quickly and it writes well on the uh, Hobonichi Weeks. And this one is also in like a brown ink, but it's almost black. It's a brown, almost black ink and I absolutely love it. I've been writing with it all day in my journal and I love it, so. 
those are the four pens I purchased from Cloth and Paper. I also went ahead and re up on some sticky notes. On some sticky notes here, we have page flags, tab sticky notes. We have some tab sticky notes here in the color nude. We have some more sticky notes here. This one is the Angora color. We have the Ecru. This is almost white. It gets like a grayish. This one was ordered by mistake. I did not want this color, but here it is, <laughs> Cortado. And then we have um, these shape sticky notes here as well. For journaling cards, I received quite a bit. I love journaling cards. It gives that, it gives your planner that extra oomph. So I have a few journaling cards here. I love these. When I move back into my uh, black croc, these will be hitting. Yes, love those. Then I also ordered some uh, dividers. This says schedule, notes plus list, and finances. I don't know if you can see that. These are for my personal size. And then we have these uh, composition stickers. Just some regular shapes. Yeah, so that's it for cloth and paper. I also purchased something from Jet Pens. So I decided I wanted to try some watercolor. I was actually doodling a little while ago. And I am horrible at it. I think I drew my A6 in here. It looks like, you know, one of my kids drew it, but let me see if I can find a page. <laughs> so this was my attempt at watercoloring. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just the beginning. Um, I'm gonna watch a few tutorials and learn how to do the pretty floral. This is supposed to be a train track. Um, yeah, this is today. See, it's raining outside, so I did like a little rain something. Yeah, I'm trying, we'll see. It's fun actually, watercoloring, I love it. And um, it's pretty fun. Also, I ordered some ink here, ink cartridges here from Jet Pens for my um, sailor pen, but the cartridges does not fit, so I actually have to buy a bottle of ink. So, another pack of ink that does not work for me. Also, I don't know where I put the rest, but I mean, it's not a purchase per se, but I got my Sterling Ink June subscription. It's pretty. I want, okay, so I see what she's saying. It is more vibrant. She had a live uh, yesterday about her, you know, her stickers. Um, I guess they're enhanced in some way. They're foiled. They have like a foiled top. So yeah, it is much more vibrant. So this is her June kit. And then of course you get your two um, large pieces of vellum to go with it as well. Always beautiful. I just want a little more variation. Sometimes the florals can look like the same month to month. Um, I like in the January one where she added like blues and stuff like that. So we'll see. I was thinking about making this my last month subscribe, but that is left to be seen. We'll see what happens. And lastly, I want to share a new cover that I received. This is the Slim Apunto in the uh, from the Muppets collection, the Fozzie. It is so cute. I wanted this planner for a very long time. I think that this needs a little conditioning though. We, I see a little bit of dryness down here. It it looks dry, but it's not. It doesn't feel dry, but it looks dry. So I wonder if like I condition it, if it will improve the look. But I've wanted a Fozzie for so long. If I can find Fozzie in an A6, oh my goodness, I would love that. I am going to switch out from my VDS croc 
and just rock with this a little bit as a work planner and see how that goes. Um, I really love it. This is something I wanted to add to my collection for a while and I was happy to find it. I was up like late at night, like one o'clock in the morning scrolling through Facebook and boom, this popped up. I was like, yes, send that home. <laughs> so yeah guys, um, just a quick video, nothing crazy. I just wanted to share a few of my goodies with you. So thank you for tuning in. Until next time, bye. Hey.